Hi everyone, my name is Chatan and I'm the co-founder of Notion Apps. Notion Apps is a tool to create beautiful mobile and desktop apps on top of Notion databases. Once you sign up uh, to Notion Apps, you'd get this prompt to connect your Notion pages or databases to Notion Apps. So I'll go ahead and do this. Here in this prompt, you can select the top level pages that actually contain the databases on top of which you want to create Notion apps. So I'll go ahead and give access to these two pages. I'll say allow access. Now Notion apps has access to the databases inside these pages. We won't pull data from these databases unless you create an application for them. So once you say create new app, sometimes uh, it takes two to three minutes for Notion to link Notion apps to your databases that we have the permission to see these or access these databases. So just in case you don't see your databases here, just click on refresh um, and wait for like one to two minutes uh, and your databases should slowly start showing up here. Here in this tutorial, I would like to create a task management and project, task project management application. So I'll select my projects and my task database and say build app. Now, and a default app has been automatically created for me. I'll skip this guide. Uh, what you see in the center is the preview. This is what your final application will look like. This preview is interactable, so it will help you go from one screen to another. On the right side, you see the application builder, which is where you can change what how this preview looks. Um, and you can change what properties are represented in this preview, et cetera. Next, we have the databases uh, tab where you can link or unlink more databases or uh, from this application. Let's say you want to add uh, an employee's database. So you can do that from this um, tab. In the settings page, you can change the app name, description, the app URL, uh, the color theme, etc. Uh, it's entirely up to you. We would be introducing a custom domain soon and that would be accessible on the settings page as well. Next, um, uh, in this configuration, you can, there are multiple options. Um, there are, today we have two kinds of screens. We have a screen to view all the items and we have another screen to view just one item, uh, which can be used in use cases like profiles or help page, etc. So you can select like your uh, Notion database and you can select the type of screen and you can add a new screen to the application. On a list screen, which is view all items, uh, you can add some filtering logic or some sorting logic, just like you do on Notion to limit the number of rows that your user sees. You can also add something called an in-app filter column, which is a filter that your users can use to um, change the records or the rows that they see in this application. So for example, I want to see only um, the projects with the status planning. So these only these two projects are with the status planning and you can see that here as well. So if I remove this filter, everything is back to normal. Um, you can edit these screens, these list screens, based on uh, whether you want to filter, sort, what properties do you want to show. Then the detail screen is a bunch of components where each component is representing one column. And you can change what component is used to represent a column. For example, a photo viewer, video viewer, uh, location viewer, address, a button. Um, you can use whatever you want to um, actually show what this column property or column value is. And at the end, once you're satisfied with your app, you can publish the app so that it is accessible to everyone that you want to share it with. You can share it using this button or just copy the link and share it with the people that you'd like to share it with. Um, thank you very much. We'd be adding more features really soon. And please use Notion apps and give us feedback through chat, through our documentation, as you can see here. Um, or ask a question over at our community, community.notionapps.com. I look forward to hearing feedback from you. Thank you.